Hey out there, slot car land. How's everybody doing this fine Saturday? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's fourth went okay. I hope you have all your fingers left. And I uh, hope you had fun and everything. I hope your summer's going well. Um, if you're racing this weekend, good luck. I hope you guys are. And uh, just doing everything. So today we're going to be um, showing you how to install a T-Jet armature onto your, onto your motor plate. I'm going to give you all the information you need to, to install it and uh, all that good stuff. So let's get off and find out what you need first. Now, probably the... All right, so let's start with everything you're gonna need to do this build. So first thing you're gonna need, and most important thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need an anvil. It, it's a whole lot easier if you have one of these. This is from RTHO. Um, the part number on this is RT600. Um, it's $45, you get three anvils with it. And um, you're definitely going to need one of these to do this job. You might be able to find this cheaper on other websites. It'll still be from RTHO, but um, I highly doubt it. So $45 for this. Once again, that's part number RT600. So the next thing you're going to need are your precision top gears. These are also from RTHO. Um, you can also buy them. We also can get them from Wizard. Uh, most everybody in the T-Jet world runs RTHO, though. These are part number RT150, and these are $24 for a set of three. So you get all three gears for that price. So once again, that's part number RT150, and they're, they're $24.99. Now, all of these part numbers are universal on whatever website you're looking at. If you're looking for RTHO parts, they list, they list the same part numbers as they do on the RT, RTHO website. So you don't have a problem there. So the next thing you're going to need is your drive gear. This is a nine tooth. Uh, nine tooth is stock for a T-Jet. This is your nine tooth drive gear. This number is RT159 is the part number. And these are $6 for one. Um, you can also look on Wizard. He also has gears there as well. I'm not sure um, how much his are. But most everybody that runs T-Jets or freight cars run RTHO stuff. So once again, this is part number RT159. Next you're going to need is your gear cluster shaft. This is for the gear in the back that connects your upper gear to your lower gear that connects to that gear we just saw. Um, the part number on this is one is RT151. You get a pack of 10 for three bucks. Now, um, RC just listed on Facebook a while back that he's making titanium one of these. Uh, these ones here are stainless steel. He doesn't have them listed on his website yet or on his parts list yet. So I'm not sure how much them are gonna run, but you can go check that out and you might be able to comment and talk to him about it and find out how much, the, how much his will cost. But once again, this is from RTHO. This is part number 151 for a pack of 10 for three bucks. And of course, you're gonna need your gear plate. Make sure you've got a good gear plate. Make sure it's flat, make sure it's in good shape. You don't wanna be installing a, a nice new uh, ballast arm on a gear plate that doesn't work. Make sure it fits your chassis really, really well. And all that good stuff. Make sure you clean it really well and get it all nice and clean and ready to rock and roll. And then you're going to need a motor spacer. Now, I don't know. We bought these at the fray from um, uh, from Norm. So I'm not sure uh, where he got these. Uh, you should be able to find them, though. Just look under motor uh, armature spacer. And you should be able to find them listed somewhere either on our... I uh, know RTHO doesn't have any. But just kind of look around on the internet. Look at everybody's parts. Look for TJ armature spacers. And you should be able to find it and all that good stuff. So... Let's get started. Get the camera down here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our nine tooth drive gear on our shaft. And I think I've already got the right anvil in the in the uh, press for this. So let's drop this little bad boy in here. Yep, there we go. So we've got that in there. So now, let's get a drive shaft, get the shaft. And now we're going to just get this on the, in the anvil. This is kind of the hard part. Let me get my tweezers. Ok, 
kind of helps if you have a set of of these tweezers it'll actually hold on to things and we're just going to take this and we're going to set it right there we're going to bring the anvil down okay now I just inspect it make sure it looks like it's in there straight make sure it's in the little holder on the pin on the anvil make sure it's in the hole on your gear that's in the that's in the pre in the anvil itself and that the press is down on the shaft itself so just start turning it's going to be a little hard at first and then it should go it should go right in now you don't want to screw it in there too far right there is probably good because you got to remember you got to put your top gear on here as well so you just want that gear started you can even, even technically, you even want it less than that on there. So now, we're going to install this on here, on your gear plate. And we're going to switch anvils to our bigger anvil. Which, this is your rear gear anvil. Let's get the gears out of the package here. And of course the gear you want is the one that's got the smaller hole on it. So we're going to put that in the anvil. And we're going to bring your motor over. Let's screw this down a little bit. We got a 2 -0. All right. There we go. So now we're in. Let's get it set up here. Make sure you're all nice and straight. Now once you get this inside here and your gear plate on there, it's already aligned with the hole on the gear on the top side. So let's just start getting this on here. And then you want to do this kind of slow. You want to check your your gear you don't want it too tight but you don't want it too loose and as you can see we're still kind of wiggling around there a little bit so let's put this back on here we'll go a little tighter okay so there we go. So now we're on there. So if you have one of these two, you can use this to adjust it as well. So if you got it like too tight, you can back that off just a tad. There we go. So see, it spins nice and free. We don't have too much movement on your rear gear. So there you go. So now your rear gear is in there. So now... Let's, uh, let's get our armature. Let's get our armature out. This should be the anvil for the top gear, which it is. So let's swap, swap our anvils out. Get that in there. Let's back this off a little bit. So now take your armature. You want to get your spacer. Put your spacer on your armature shaft. Make sure you pick up your other spacers. Once you get that on there, put your armature on your gear plate. Turn it upside down. And then put it on your anvil. Get, there we are. A mist. Okay. So it looks like we're on... Now this is this is the one where it gets kind of gets kind of technical. So this is the one you're going to really want to be careful of because you don't want your your armature too tight on your motor plate. So 
do this really slow get your gear started check your 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 armature every so often so you're not you're not getting it too tight that might be perfect let's back this off a little bit get that out of there check it every so often oh I think we got that perfect getting better at doing this sometimes I get it too tight now you can fix that by backing it off a little bit but that looks really good okay so there's that part so now let's uh, let's do some a little bit of oiling let's plug the let's plug the dyno in here bring the dyno out get a little bit of huh my my oiler is leaking through the top thing that's strange I wasn't doing that before all right so let's install our idler gear get that idler gear out of there let's see what happens when we put this idler gear back in there see if that works sometimes that happens there we go There we are. We'll let this sit for a minute. It's getting a little cantankerous today for some reason. Okay. We'll let that sit for a minute, let that run for a little bit. But that's how you install an armature on your T-Jet motor. Um, basically, this is a must. Um, it's really hard to do it right without one of these, so make sure you have an anvil. And granted, it's, they're kind of spent either $45, but it's still probably the best thing to get to install your gears and stuff. Outside of that, all the other parts are, you know, reasonable. Uh, you know, your top gears, a little expensive, about $25. Bucks. And then you've got your armature, which, you know, that'll cost you anywhere at between $25 to about $35, depending on where you get your balanced arms. So, uh... But just uh, just kind of shop around, and you'll be able to find parts and pieces. Check uh, check RTHO, check Wizard, and you'll be able to find out what you need and all that stuff. So I hope you guys have a great week. I hope this helps you out. Uh, be on the lookout for next week. We'll be on the three x five build. We'll definitely be doing the part of the, the, getting it, getting the interior piece cut, getting the track nailed down and, and secured to the board, and we'll be doing the uh, the the wall around the outside of it as well all next Saturday, so uh, we're getting close to finishing on this one. Uh, we're going to show you uh, down the road uh, what we're going to use to paint this for painting your lanes and all that kind of stuff as well. So be on the lookout for that too. Don't forget to check out the, the merch store. Go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash slotcard. That's crazy. There's new shirts up. I've got, I'm working on working on some more. Uh, the one that's up now has the closing slogan on it. It says, keep the wheels on the downside and the pin on the slot. And then it has slot car crazy underneath of it, and it's kind of here on the chest, kind of small. Not small, but about, you know, about yay big by about yay big. So it's really, really cool. Go check that out. Uh, pick one of those up and, uh, and get one for yourself. And uh, maybe get the original slot car crazy logo while you're there as well, too. And there's more on the way, too. So keep checking the site back to see what new shirts will be up. So uh, have a great week. Keep the wheels on the downside, the pin in the slot, keep racing slot cars, and I'll see you guys next week with the 3x5 build. I'm out. Catch you guys later. Bye.